Side of a sore fingers again with a classic song from Cliff Richard and the Shadows, of course, called The Young Ones. Sorry about a few a little minor boo boos along the way, it's quite a song to play on your own, <laughs> trying to fit in all the little bits, okay, and try and sing it at the same time. Well, there you have it, anyway, it's uh, I think that's not too bad, so let's get to it. So, standard tuning, no capos doing the same key as Cliff Richard, okay. So, uh, it starts off with the uh, classic riff, of course and uh, two stabs on a G chord. I'm playing it as an F shape, you could play it as a bar chord or you could just play a straightforward G, but it's two stabs, okay? All right, that's two down strokes on whatever shape you want to use. Okay, then we've got the classic riff. The way I'm playing it, there are different ways of fingering this obviously, but this is the way I'm doing it, okay? to get the right sort of tone of the strings, okay? So, starting up on the seventh fret of the top E string, down to the 5th fret, to the 8th fret on the 2nd th string, right, so, down to the 5th fret of the 2nd string, and then back up to the 8th fret for the 2nd string. So 7th fret, 5th fret, top E string, 8th fret 2nd, 5th uh, fret 2nd, and then back to the 8th fret on the 2nd. Right, so ba 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 Right, got that? It's actually three hits on that, it? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, now that's, that's the last note, okay? So ba ba Okay, and then we go from that 8th uh, fret on the 2nd string so down from 8, 7, oh, this is on 2nd string, okay? 8, 7, 5, 3, okay? Then up to the 5th again. 3 hits on that one, right? 8, 7, 2nd string, 8, 7, 5, 3, back to 5. So now we've got this. Now 
go from five to three. This is on the second string. Five, three, two, uh, one. Five, three, one. Open. Back to the second uh, uh, second string on the first fret. So five, three, one. Open. One. So now we've got this. go uh, first on the second, open second, second on the th third, open third, first on the second, open second, second on the third, open third, D chord. Okay, so let's do that again slowly. Twice on the G, here we go. Slidey riff, right? So slide up from the after you do three lots of D, slide from the second fret of the third string, the G string, up to the fourth fret, then play the third fret of the second string, and then go back to the fourth fret on the third, slide it back down to the second. So it's Make it open G, right? Or pull off to a G, whichever you want to do, okay? Okay, it's pretty quite quick. So, got that, so slide up second to four on the third, straight into a third on the second, fourth slide down to second on the third, open third, and then you're into this song. G chord. First chord is a G chord, okay? Four fingered, three fingered, bar chord, whatever you want, okay? It's open house. <laughs> so here we go, once more through the solo, uh, the intro together, okay? You really need two guitars unless you need somebody playing the backing chords as well, but I'll show you what those are in a second. So it's G, Chords are ba ba da 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 G da 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 E minor da 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 A minor da 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 D da 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 da. Okay, simple as that. If you want to play, just sing along with it. Okay. So right. So when you get into it, okay, the first verse starts with a G. The Darling with the E minor, back to G, back to E minor, back to G, D, love, back to G, while the flame is C, da da G, da da D, da da G. Okay. So very slowly from the beginning, the E G, E minor, da da back to G, the back to E minor, da 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 da, G love, lift rather D love, back to G, while the play C is strong, cause with G D. Very G. Now, got this nice little bit here. Now, a bit tricky, but what I would suggest you do is just play the first three, three strings. Uh, it's a slidey thing, okay? So it's like an F shape, but only using the first two fingers, barring the first two strings on the seventh fret. 
okay, and the eighth fret on the third, okay, and you slide that, you hit that, and you slide it up one fret from a B to a C. Okay, and then you move it up from the ninth, same same shape, from nine to ten. So that's B to C. And then from D, uh, um, D flat to, uh, to D. Okay, so it's just okay. However you wish to do it, you can just do it a single sort of, or you can do it whichever you feel suits you best. Okay, so all the way through the first verse. Okay, the young Slowly. Shouldn't be as It's too late. Love. While playing is strong. Cause we may not be the ones. Very long, slidey bit. Alright, so it's quite quick that, but a bit of practice. Back to the G for the next verse, exactly the same. Tomorrow, wait until tomorrow. G to E minor, back to G. Back to E minor. Sometimes it never comes. Back to G. So long, D, G. Da 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 C. Back to G. D, G, G7. Just make it a G to G7. First finger, top E string, first fret. And then you play a C chord and stop. Okay, so it's once in every lifetime. Now, this is a bit tricky. <laughs> Trying to get this timing right, it's quite tricky. That's the that's the riff, okay? The first part of the riff. Third fret. Um, fifth string, okay. Got to practice this. It's quite difficult, really. Right, so dun 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 dun. dun. And you, on that one, you hit open A, open fifth string. And then finally, the third fret on the bottom E string, G. a bit quicker than that but that's that's the shape and the and the uh, the notes and everything okay so uh, coming out of that um so something like, uh, well we uh, g7 crossing every lifetime and then you do a quick g so and then the second riff this is even harder i think because it's um, to try and get the speed up you really need to play it on the fourth string well I do anyway so basically it's that's the same riff this sort of timing wise but different notes you start I'm starting on the fifth fret of the fourth string to the second fret and then open on the fourth all on the fourth string okay so the first one is on this Okay, then we go to an A chord or an A seventh, whichever you think sounds best. D, just a single strum will do nicely. And then we feed it back down again. Right, so let's just go through this bit again. So C, stop. Uh, once in every lifetime. And then the last bit is D, so you stop on the D, so at D, and then what I'm doing is I'm taking this second finger off the 
top string, top E string, putting it up to the third fret on the fifth string. And then I'm just taking that finger off and putting this first finger on the second fret on the fifth string, and then back to an open A string and a D chord. So it's got that, so you get that sort of riff, okay? Okay, got that, so D, then take this second finger off, top E string, put it on the third fret of the fifth string, then take that one off and move this second finger up to the second fret on the fifth string, keeping third on the second there all the time, and then back to the full D with an open fifth string. Okay, so the whole bit is every lifetime. Just like the intro, okay? Stab, stab. Then we do the intro again. Just the once. But this time, we're slightly different on the end, okay? So it's exactly the same up to that point, okay? So. No, it's actually. slide up from on the second string from the first fret to the third fret so open second to the first on the second so it's slide from one second string first fret to third open second to first fret okay so it's let's do from the beginning open second string, first fret second string, and then we've got it, we slide from two to four on the third, and then an open third, so two to four on the third, and then an open third, and then another couple of th open thirds, and then fourth string slide from second fret to the third fret, right, and then an open fourth. And then we're into that once in every lifetime bit again okay so this whole thing very slowly this solo in the middle so it goes bah, bah. oh no sorry the ending okay so that sort of thing okay so 
So obviously you can't play the rhythm at the same time as doing that. So I think that's probably the more important thing to do. Okay, so what it is on playing the 10th fret of the second string, bending it up. And then so up and then up again and let it go down. Right? Okay. Right. Then down to the 8th fret on the 2nd. To the 9th fret of the 3rd. Then back to the 8th fret on the 2nd. And then you repeat again. And again. And then finally, the 12th fret of the top E string. And then the 10th fret of the, of the top E string. And then that bend again and let it, let it go down. And then 8th fret on the 2nd and 9th fret on the 3rd. So it's... And then finally a little slide. There. So I'm playing the 6th fret of the 1st string and the 7th fret of the 2nd string just the double two strings together, hit those two and slide it up one fret to a G chord, up to a G chord, there. F sharp to G, okay, got that, so for the whole ending is, so you go that, ba, ba, If you want to play the rhythm, uh, when you go that ba 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 C da 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 G da 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 It's just C and G on the end, okay? So there you have it, boys and girls. That's the best I can do on that one. That's quite a handful for one guitar, but have a go. Okay, uh, thanks very much for watching and listening and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.